Specify a project. Welcome back to Live Free or Metal Gear Solid 5. But yeah, this is, I think I finally got the, uh, the, like, the legit sneaking suit. Uh, it does look like you have it. No, this is still the Metal Gear Solid 3 one. That's what I'm importing in here. <laughs> Man, I would hate to be a soldier at Mother Base. I don't know. I think I'd love it. Nah, broken bones. But they love it, though. They don't care. Yeah, but I wouldn't. They're like, hurt me more, boss! Your grip feels so tight. There we go. Yeah, that's the one I know. That is a great sneaking suit. I love that it's a, a combo of like the Metal Gear Solid One. Yeah, Metal Gear Solid One three. and just like its own thing. Would you say this is your favorite sneaking suit? Uh, I like the the Peace Walker one more. Yeah, I'm still very partial to the Peace Walker one. Peace Walker and Ground Zeroes. Mm-hmm. Love you just. Leaving his base on his on his helicopter, meanwhile, like, a dozen of his soldiers are just knocked out on the ground. What happens if the base gets attacked, you know? Blame Huey for it. Yeah, that's what I would have done, too. Do you think this is, like, just 24-7 for, for Snake? Do you think he takes a day off? Like I was saying last time, what are his hobbies? The Soviets call this sniper Tiki. Quiet. <laughs> there are never any sightings, and only corpses are left behind. The Soviets have already lost a number of officers. And, uh, we should start a countdown of like how many videos it takes for Big Boss to say something. Yeah, I just noticed he hasn't said anything since we started. What's going on? We were just in Afghanistan. <laughs> well, I, the other, I was doing like side stuff that I didn't need to show, and that that quiet conversation happened. I wanted to show that, and then I came back, and this happened. No, DD, stop. <laughs> Snake. Sorry, sorry. I've been away for a while, Bob. Don't be such a stranger. That's a bad example for the men. He, uh, he gets lonely too. Yeah, so that happens if you don't play the game for like a really long time. Come. Although I don't know why I got that to happen, because I I recorded like all these within like a pretty short amount of time. So, I think I'm about to show one of my favorite Easter eggs in the game, I think? Analysis complete. That guy. Yes, that guy is the biggest of Easter eggs. Aren't you laughing? Yes, he was dead. <laughs> he might as well be. That? Oh, I love anime. Ocelot! Boss, you finally noticed me. What, he's the anime? Yes. Yeah, this is one of my favorite Easter eggs in the entire game. Do you know about this? Oh, yeah. That actually took me quite a while to find. Oh, hey, it's Puss. Yeah, I went and did another one of those, like, Mother Base dude missions. What, so you didn't show you running around for half an hour chasing him? No, no one needs to see that. on his instrument during peace day? Remember me trying to find Professor Galvez? <laughs> and he was hiding in the target practice? Then he shot his hand at me. He died. Good. Everyone sure seemed impressed. Music has no borders. The professor taught me that. Where's Professor Galvez anyway? <sighs> I am so tired. I will just lie here a while. Whoa, 
how do you get from there to the helicopter? Please Whoa! Sign up to mission. I think there's another longer one. This one's kind of annoying Please as well. Select a mission. Oh god. Boss, the rebel guerrillas are launching an offensive against the Oh god. Ugh, oh, this one was rough. This is one where like I'm I'm going through the game and getting S ranks and all the all the levels, I skip this one because it's really annoying. Mm -hmm. Even the tasks are really annoying too. Mm -hmm. Against the clock, with plenty of targets to choose from. Show me your best stuff, boss. But yeah, like Miller said, if you want to just straight up play the level, all you have to do is kill Ready one enemy mm -hmm. or like one of the vehicles. The S ranking this is so bad. Mm hmm. I haven't bothered yet. I've done every one like in this first act other than this one. Boss, your objective is to eliminate as many enemy combat vehicles as What's you your stratagem in this? Uh, sit at the very northern point before they exfil, and just roadblock them. Yeah, that's that's what I usually do too, but it, it takes too long, so I kind of took a more um, direct route in this one. Yeah, because it's such a pain in the ass to hunt them down on D-Horse. Because then you have to like sit and wait for the reload. Mm. Like, if D-Horse gets hit, he falls over, so I was just like, you know what, I'm going to let them come to me. And you also gotta make sure that you have enough ammo for everything. Mm -hmm. So you gotta continuously make supply drops. These missions are no fun. I would much rather sneak through a complex for like 30 minutes yeah. than, than take out 18 different, uh, you know, enemy things. So yeah, I do set a trap here, I do believe. Because it's it's good to do just in case, but then I pretty much go out of my way to just like kill them all. You're not stuck in here with me. I'm also stuck in here with you because there is no editing on this level whatsoever. I showed it in its entirety. Never mind. <laughs> I completely forgot that I maybe there's like one edit. Who did that? Precisely. Oops. Yeah, so that's a good thing to do, but you can see it took off quite a bit of time. Yeah, that was like three minutes. But now we're gonna just go out of our way to find the rest of them. Mm. It also helps if you have an upgraded rocket launcher and stuff like that. Yeah. Like, don't- I would say don't be afraid to replay levels and, you know, don't instantly run into a new mission without making sure you're prepared. Yeah, especially when it says, like, um, recommended grenade launcher or rocket launcher, like, yeah. at the bottom of the description. Because then you know you're in for something. Mm hmm Like, see, I think I just went in here with, like, an assault rifle with an underbarrel or Yeah, no, that's attachment. not good. It was like, oh god, this is terrible. Yeah, that's no good. I think, I think I actually did go and upgrade a few things because, like... I'm pretty sure I take all these guys out in just like two hits, so that's not that bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think he's done. No, still needs one more. But yeah, the the thing about S ranking this is that you have to destroy every single vehicle that pops up on the map, and when you destroy the the original ones that pop up on the map, like four more come. And then oh, after, the and then after those, like there's a bunch of helicopters that come in, and you've still got the same amount of time to do it all. So it just takes way too long. Mm -hmm. And then of course you've got this optional thing over here where they take this guy, he's like a prisoner, and he, or, or they've got like a weapon or something that you need, and that just takes more time doing that, and it's a really really difficult mission I think. Well, it's not okay. difficult, it's just annoying. I still wouldn't say this game is exactly all that difficult. No, I mean, again, it's just prep time. That's all you really need. Mm -hmm. Like... Yeah, it's the one thing missing from Arkham Knight. To make it the ultimate, ultimate Batman simulator. It's prep time. The big boss can outprep prep uh, Batman, I suppose. I suppose he could. Who would win in a fist fight? Big Boss or uh, Batman? Batman. Who would win in a gunfight? Batman or Big Boss? Batman. 
Who would win in a staring con? Who who would win in talking less? Batman or Big Boss? Venom Snake for sure. What's your master plan here? Was getting caught part of it? No, it was just being an anime. Enemy presence detected. It was use D horse as a distraction. I would have just sat in the middle of the road. But I mean they're they're a lot less likely to do anything when it's just a horse in the middle of the road. See, and that's what I like to do there. Mm -hmm. The enemy's given up their search for you. But they're not giving you the can't fill just yet. No, 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 yeah, that would have been really easy because all you'd have to do then is put D horse in the middle of the road and then just fold in the Jeep when you're not looking. Maybe the rest of us. I don't think I can have D horse poop yet. I meant the people. Oh. Or just big boss poops in the middle of the road. Mm -hmm. I wish driving in a vehicle wouldn't just automatically make people know that it's you. Yeah. Because even when you're in a truck that like they can't visibly see you and they know it's you. Mm -hmm. There are quite a few things I would fix in this game, but I don't think it's a bad game by any means. No. The story's just underwhelming, that's how I've always looked at it. Well, the story didn't need to be anything more than what it is, because it's not like... It's not like there was any major piece of the story that was missing that doesn't get filled in in this game. Yeah, but like, when you look at the, the quality of the story compared to all the other ones, like, it's on par with Metal Gear Solid 2, which I still think is the weakest standalone Metal Gear story. Yeah. And it's got a lot of similarities to that, too. Yeah, which you think Kojima would have wanted to stay away from. I'm also pretty sure that this is one of those where if you die, you have to start the whole thing over again. Yeah. That was another thing that aggravated me. Just in this game in general, the checkpoints are really quite poor. Mm -hmm. Are they mortaring you? Yes, they are. They just don't know where I am, so it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. That one tank that I'm trying to um, destroy is still just staying in the same place. It has not moved. I think you might have taken out the treads on it. No, because there's no way I could have hit the treads. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's just stupid. <laughs> the tank, like the tank driver, just do. Where do we go? Maybe it's one of the Sasakes. Is that their last name? Johnny Sasake? Akiba. Yeah. There isn't an Akiba in this game. It was only in Ground Zeroes, right? Or no, you told me that there was one, right? There's like a recording you can yes, find? Yes, there's a recording you can find that if you're in the bathroom, the troops will leave you alone. I still haven't found that. I don't know where that is. Yeah, I forget. I'm a little rusty on my knowledge of this game right now. Yeah, I honestly don't know if I'd ever sit down and replay Metal Gear Solid 5. I would, because the gameplay is the best. Mm -hmm. And when I've been going through doing the S ranks, I've been having a lot of fun. Even even on the really annoying levels like this one, I still was having fun, even though I wasn't able to achieve the S rank on this. Uh -huh. Yeah, S rank on this must be, like, terrible. Yeah, because you've got to kill, like, 15 different vehicles all in the exact same amount of time. A vehicle a minute, don't get discovered. Mm -hmm. <laughs> don't kill anyone. Well, that's the thing. Getting discovered really doesn't affect the S-Ranks all that much, unless in very specific cases. Mm -hmm.
And see, now you think that's over, but it's not, because there's like a, a million more things come in now. Who are you? <laughs> Why are you calling him? <laughs> if you do one thing in this mission, I would suggest doing this because the weapon you get is actually pretty good. Yeah, it's the Zeus rocket, right? I don't think it's called the Zeus, no. It's a little space off of the Zeus yeah, cool. rocket. Woo what? That was the name of the camp that we just entered. Uh huh. Who would you cast as Snake in a movie? Because I would cast Christian Bale. Um. And in fact, that's who it was going to be for a while. As Big Boss, I would cast... I would cast Christian Bale as them all. I would even cast him as Raiden. I don't even know who I'd cast as Raiden. No one. Is the Metal Gear movie still gonna happen? No clue. This is the most useful D-Horse has been so far. It was like he was trying to take out the, uh, whoever was in the, like, uh, passenger side. Yeah, it's a homing rocket, right? Yeah. Land to land. Check your eye droid for the details. See, it's like, it's just non-stop, this stupid mission. Mm -hmm. You have two minutes to, uh, take out two tanks. Have fun. Well, with this, I think I do have enough, because this, I think, kills them in one shot. Because it's the one that spreads. Mm -hmm. Okay, Miller, like, calm down. You said the mission's only a failure if you don't, like, take down less than one thing. I've taken down most of them. Pretty much. I've taken out all the, like, really super required ones. But again, even if I were to take these two guys out, that's still that's no S rank. I really wish that there was an upgrade to put like rocket launchers on the side of D-Force. <laughs> That'd be great. Are you in range? Um, I could have hit them, but I like to make sure that I'm locked on. Because that's the like the way that this rocket launcher is like really good. Because like I said, it's the one that spreads and it locks on. Like, see that's one shot. Because it's technically like a bunch of different rockets. You'd think that that'd be the end of the mission. No, you have to actually hurt the hot zone. Well, yeah, but there's also more vehicles that come in. But I think they thankfully take the uh, timer away from you. Yeah. Damn it. Soviet reinforcements incoming. Tanks and a gunship. And you're the target. Looks like we pushed the Soviets a little too far. Boss, those Soviets are a threat to the guerrillas. You can bet there'd be a bonus in it if you take them out. Yeah. That said, the mission objectives are complete, so you can leave the area if you want. Your choice, I mean, that's boss. what I will be doing because I do not care about any bonuses. Mm -hmm. I was going to, but then I just said screw it. Yeah, this mission takes forever. It does. Wow. D-Horse. Well, that wasn't D-Horse, that was like all me. Well, if D-Horse knew how to walk properly. Like, you'd have tried being a horse for a day. Yeah, 
<laughs> That's it, you'd just be glue? Like, and me, the first day of on the job of being a horse, you'd just be glue? I like it. Stop and shop Peapod arriving shortly at LZ. A single burst from his machine gun can cut a man in half. Yeah, how it works, Ocelot, is like the 20th time you've told me. Mm. This is Pequot. Have arrived at LZ. We'll stand by. Enemy equipment detected. Support helicopter has arrived. And yes, that was me being like, are you serious? Well, I mean, now you don't have much of a choice. He's attacking people on. Wow. <laughs> it was like just a few inches off both times. Did I get him? I hit him, but I don't know if I killed him. I don't know about that. Oh yeah, he done dead. Now yeah, there's two more. Yeah. Or at least there's one more now. This mission's dumb. I hate it. Mm -hmm. God, just go to the helicopter, Mike. Don't worry, I do. Or maybe I take this guy out. I don't know. Yeah, but there's like, there's a task in this where you have to like, rescue all these prisoners that are being like, let out into the desert or whatever. And that's so annoying because you have to be very precise on it. Mm -hmm. And of course the timer's running the whole time, so you yeah. have to do that and worry about the, um, mm -hmm. the tanks. And it's just, it's the worst mission. Yeah, I stumbled upon the prisoners the couple times I did it. Mm -hmm. There's one in a canyon and one in a desert, I think. Yeah. Extraction arrived at Mother Base. Development I don't even remember. Oh, I guess I, I grabbed that one guy. Mm -hmm. Mission complete. Oh, and the prisoner. So yeah, I guess it wasn't that. That was a B. Bitchin'. B for butt, 420. <laughs>